Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Today we are gonna unlock the, uh, this segment of tier 9. And hopefully we will build all these parts by the end of the episode. Mm, speaking of parts we need some. Let me check them real quick. Milestone reached. This is not a competition, but other pioneers, such as 83CKY and U531355, had already completed project assembly by this point. Fixit was obviously wrong about you, but perhaps so was I. Regardless, you have finally unlocked the quantum encoder, which requires vast fluctuating power and excited photonic matter to produce highly complex parts. Do not make the same mistakes managing the resulting dark matter residue as you did other byproducts. Project part number 11, the AI expansion server, is now your highest priority. Galaxy-wide project management is taxing to even the most advanced among us, especially those who have to manage the less advanced. Like kittens, and puppies, who are definitely still waiting for you to save them. Well... We might be less advanced, Ada, but we still see your uh, carrot and stick strategy. I love you anyway, though. We got the Quantum Encoder, which is a new building in our production line. Um, speaking of production line, I guess I will build this production line off cam and show you later on. Okay, mates, we were scanning some hard drives because I'm looking for an alternative receipt for the high-speed connector because we have some problems in the production with them. Um, in fact, we have two less of them. But we discovered this alternate receipt for dark matter traps, which are one of the new parts, which is pretty interesting because we just got this tier and we already have an alternative receipt. But anyway, I'll take it. We have some more hard drives to scan and I really hope we will find an alternate receipt for the high-speed connector. That would be very useful. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we have this tech trees here which we can discover. Helium technology? That's a completely new tech tree. Interesting. Huh? Didn't unlock that? We have the materials, so okay, we have to wait until the hard drive is ready. Anyway, what else do we have? But we have the gas mask. Why we have to unlock it here again? Some things are weird with the final version. <gasps> Look at this. We can make synthetic power shards. That's very nice, so we don't need any slugs anymore. Oh my god, we can make endless of them, I guess, then. We have everything here, what's, what's that? Uh -huh. So even better fuel or what? Rocket fuel? We have tube fuel by now, we can make rocket fuel. Oh, this might even help with the jetpack and make it a little, uh, last a little longer, hopefully. Okay, we will build this. Okay, we have to wait until the hard drive is ready though. So let's have a look at this later on. I want to discover this alien technology. First we will unlock all the stuff we already have I guess. Okay we unlocked the power switch and the gas mask. We have both of them already so I will skip that part. This is the power shard. Research completed. Synthetic power shard recipe unlocked. Exchanging regular exercise and filtered fresh air with automation is just the kind of progress Fixit likes to see. Okay. They are for sure useful. We can pimp our whole factory if we want to. And now let's unlock the rocket fuel. Oh, we need some parts. Let me check them really quick. I'm curious about this one because I love the jetpack but the fuel doesn't last very long. Rocket fuel unlocked. Pioneers will be able to use rocket fuel in the fuel generator and any vehicle that uses fuel, including the jetpack, with appropriate results. Nice. Warning, 
Mixing rocket okay. fuel into coffee does not enhance its energizing effect. <laughs> okay. I will keep that in mind. Now let's check out the new alien technology. Okay, this is reanimated Sam and the flux compensator. Strange alien matter analysis completed. Dormant crystalline Sam can now be found with the resource scanner. In its dormant state, it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely. Research for enabling the reanimation of dormant Sam is now available. Fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples. The sun will follow. Okay, this mesosphere always has. Some voices from aliens or something like this. I ain't sure, I'm quite sure about what this is right now, but these are just parts we could have probably unlocked before we unlocked tier 9. Which doesn't matter for us. Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, okay. and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood compose harmony. Follow our hallowed temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. <laughs> so they are the aliens speaking to us, I guess. Hmm. These aliens are always talking about some temples or something like this. Maybe we have to make an explorer mission later on. Sam Fluctuator recipe unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated Sam to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection of matter in one location, breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, Wait, which has what? incredible potential for smart storage. Your friends should solve to flip into a tapestry, matter, 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 and mind and melody. Wait, what? Does that mean we can we have a, a storage container now which we can access from everywhere? That. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space time continuum and distributing <laughs> it into its connected ecosystem. This energy. Let the energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Similarities to the hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Mm. Not sure if I got the last one, to be honest. Mercer Sphere Analysis Completed Established Local Planetary Signature of Massage 2 A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to defile our shrine? Sing the song. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. The alien also talks quite a lot about play as a melody. Shall we find a temple and play a radio there? For real dimensional people. Dimensional Depot unlocked. SAM can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension, and the Mercer Sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in another. Once parts are fed into the Dimensional Depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer Inventory and Build Gun System at any time, anywhere. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter, the metal will not bend, the wood will not splinter. <laughs> Weave. I liked it. 
I really think that's a storage we can access from everywhere. We have to have a look at this. Okay, that's the dimensional storage container. So I guess we can put stuff in here and access it from everywhere. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah. So it uploads it, that's why we can increase the upload speed. And we also have 100 storage. Oh, that's not much. Because it counts every item. Okay, so 15 bottles are 15 slots of the 100. Okay, so we have to increase this also. In general, that's a nice feature though. So let's see if we can access it from everywhere. Yes, we can. There are 15 bottles. If we also download them, no instant access. Oh, that's very nice. That's really nice. That's very helpful if you are building far away from the storage. Okay, I like that. That's a good idea. And I also like the look of them. They look pretty cool with the portal-like entrance. As you saw, we built here empty fuel tanks, which we need for the rocket fuel. They are made of aluminum, so we build them right in our aluminum area of the factory. They are going all over to a train station. We had two empty cargo stations in our ammo line, which we will use now. One for the empty tanks, to bring them over to the refinery part of our factory, where they will be filled and brought back to the storage here. So let's drive over real quick. For the rocket fuel we have to combine uh, tuber fuel and nitric acid, which is coming from the other side of our factory. We just built a third pipe along the waterfall, as you can see back there. We combine it right in here and make rocket fuel and some coal out of it. We get rid of the coal right here because uh, I want to collect some more coupons. Maybe we can unlock another statue later on. We will see. Uh, yeah, that's going pretty slow, probably not, but let's try. Anyway, so the fuel gets packed into packaged rocket fuel and sent back to the other side of the factory where our main storage is. I'm very curious about them. I hope they will make them last longer. The jet pack. So we have to activate it as preferred fuel. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't seem to last long, uh, but wow. Um, um, okay. Oh, okay. So it's okay. So it is about height and not about how long it lasts. But that's pretty pretty good, I guess. I would have preferred that it last longer, to be honest, but the height is very, very useful while exploring. So if we are looking for, for the cave later on, or for the temple much more from the aliens, then this will be very useful, I guess. Yeah. Incredible how, how much higher you get pretty easily. Okay, they are nice. I like them. They will be useful. So let's take a few of them. Okay, let's activate our dark matter production line. This is gonna be a tricky one to be honest, as I will explain in a while. Honestly, this stuff here is going way beyond my horizon. We have two more materials, gas, liquids, whatever it is. It's called Excited Photonic, which is pretty exciting. It's made out of nothing, which is also cool and a little bit strange at the same time. 
this also isn't a problem. We need this one to combine it with time crystals. The dark matter crystals and quartz crystals to make power shards out of, it, out of it. They are pretty cool. We can paint the whole factory with them later on. But we also produce dark matter in here. Right now we also produce dark matter in here. Because we need more than we get right now. And this dark matter is used to be combined with time crystals to make dark matter crystals out of it. The problem is we also get dark matter from other parts as byproduct, so we will have a lot more dark matter than we need. Which will be tricky to balance in the end. We won't need this one for sure. Because we will have way more dark matter than we need in here. But we will see. I love the green glowing above our quantum encoder. Reminds me of the Simpsons of Mr. Burns. A healthy green glowing. <laughs> I bring you love. I love the Simpsons. I finished the new production line meanwhile, we will have all the parts in the end. Everything starts with the excited photonics again, which go into quantum encoder uh, and are mixed with dark matter crystals, crystal oscillator, aluminum and the excited photonic to produce superposition oscillators. And as you see we also have dark matter as byproduct here. Over here we mixing time crystals with supercomputers, Tiskit dragons and excited photonics again to make Neuwell quantum processors and also dark matter again. So we get a lot of the dark matter. We need more of the quantum processor though. We need four for our last part. So let's try to manage this here. Can we get to four exactly? Um, doesn't look like. Ah, it's pretty close anyway. Should do it. And in our last quantum encoder, we are producing. Uh, we're mixing magnetic field generators with no. Why aren't there? Huh? Um, did I miss a belt somewhere? There should be. Yeah, the magnetic field generators. Hmm. I didn't miss them. I brought them over somewhere. Where, where did I put them? Gain coming down here. Where did I build this convert? Am I stupid? What? Am I crazy? Um. Ah, okay, over there, okay, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, um, it's late. I'm so it's late. L let me finish this real quick. Okay, um, I'm sorry, what a shame. What a shame. Anyway, in here we are producing the... AI expansion server, which is our main priority according to ADA. But as you see, it also produces dark matter here. So I really have to find a solution for this later on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, I forgot. We had to expand our coal line because one storage or one cargo station wasn't able to handle enough coal. So we have to build a second one and as you see we have the red outlines again which was the big mystery in the last episode. I also found a solution for this meanwhile which couldn't be more easy to be honest. We just have to interact once with the container and the red outlines are gone as you will see. This wasn't the case in the alpha though. You see they are gone.
Of course, we have all new parts in our storage. The rocket fuel, the power shards. Let's take some of them since we are here. Guess we need some of them later on. So we only have two more empty storage containers. In here we have the AI expansion server. The superposition oscillators. And the new world quantum processors. So we are producing all the new parts. Luckily these are almost the last ones because like I said we only have two more empty storage containers here. So we are producing all the parts we unlocked with the last segment of tier 9. The next time we will unlock the blueprinter, the last version of it, and also this one looks very interesting to be honest. A main portal and a satellite portal, so a kind of fast travel I guess. Also a singularity cell and a ballistic warp drive. Do we even want to know what this is? And also the peak of efficiency. Which offers a new combat belt with up to 1200 pieces, quite a lot, and also some fuel for the nuclear plants. That will be pretty much everything we can build or everything tier 9 offered. We also have some stuff in... oh yeah. Um, we are still looking for an alternate receipt for the speed connectors. Of course we didn't get one. Nitro rocket fuel, instant plutonium cell. We don't need any of this to be honest. So let's take the plutonium cell I guess. Um, yeah, anyway, we also, I also saw we have in here, where is it, sulfur, I guess, yeah. We have another kind of fuel, ionized fuel, which should be even much more better than the rocket fuel, which is already crazy, to be honest. But we will have a look at this at the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one, even though it was a rather try subject this time. The next will be more exciting and I hope to catch you there. Your Mombi.